Oiwak reached out to collaborate on some content featuring this, which is the M14 portable extended desktop, and I was interested. I said I'd gladly take a look at it for them, and we had a bit of a chat, and they really wanted to sponsor the content. I mean, they insisted. I pointed out that my reviews are free and unsponsored, but they really didn't seem to want to take no for an answer, and at a certain point it just became a bit rude to keep saying, no, you don't need to pay me. So. This is an ad, this is not a review, it's a sponsored video. I'm just gonna show you the benefits of using this attachable portable monitor. It's nicely packaged, protective case. I think it's a single one, this one. And you can connect it with one cable or two cables, so power it with a Type A if you need to, and an HDMI or full functionality it says. I'm hoping it's very easy to set up for you. It's a quick look at the specs then. It's 1200p resolution. So that's a normal laptop, full HD resolution there. It's a 60 hertz panel, it's light. It feels a bit plasticky, but that's a good thing because it does want to be light. Bit of instruction on the setup. So you use your laptop kind of face down, attach it to the back and then fold it back up again. There's two type C's, an HDMI and a kickstand that comes out and some of the different modes, which I'll talk about. It's 400 nits of brightness, 100 of sRGB coverage. So that's good for the type of use case that I would probably have for it. It's portable and it's attachable. So that's a reason to go for one of these single monitors over the big wing-like triple monitor setups that you can get. It looks like it can also sense being rotated, which is cool, and it's plug and play as you would expect. American cable, but uh, I won't even need that. And this was shipped to me from them rather than from Amazon, so I'd hope that the Amazon one you get will be UK specific or wherever you are in the world. Cool, get a laptop. I'm hoping it's charged up. It's boasting that it's really lightweight and low power, and it is certainly lightweight. I'm trying to figure out if there's a top and a bottom to it, not that I can see. Yeah, that's the way it works that way, so I'm guessing maybe it can go either side. I feel it's very most secure on this particular laptop, but that is because this laptop has a cutaway in the corner and the hinge is right where it sits there. But it is on. The less said about the design of my HP Spectre 360, the better. It looks nice much more secure on this design of laptop. I would suggest maybe thinking about if you've got an X360 type, a convertible type laptop, maybe it's not gonna work as well on that for you. For you. It does look really crystal clear. The blues look really nice compared to the built-in Lenovo screen. This is looking better. And low power consumption, which it will need if it's going to run off one USB-C cable from the laptop. Just four watts is advertised on the website. I have found the in some ways for editing, so using the text-based editing here on the screen. I can't seem to use it from my timeline. Yeah, looks really good, looks really crisp. It has a blue light filter, an anti-glare coating, and that does seem to be really good, actually. It does have very narrow bezels, and of course, like most modern IPS screens, it's flicker-free. For me, I have two main reasons for wanting one of these. On travels for video editing, I very much miss having all of this screen real estate when I'm traveling around and secondly at school and this is my school laptop actually i feel so much less productive at school without my extended desktop setup i actually sometimes bring work home simply to be able to do it more efficiently here on this desktop setup so if i can emulate that workflow at work and i can complete tasks more efficiently there in the office then i'd like that in the orangery let's have a test out if it's bright enough for a bright room It's only around 600 grams, which is light enough and thin enough to sit in my laptop bag. I think that's one of the main benefits of going for the single extended desktop display rather than the triple. It's just gonna be that bit lighter. And this is enough room for most professionals' workflows. So let's go ahead and get typical day for me. I'd have a browser open and I would have Word going. Usually two or three instances of Word, to be honest, different documents I've got to work between. Perhaps an Excel sheet, sort of cloud, files all ready to go like this. That would probably be right over here. I might have PowerPoint. So this would be a kind of typical setup. And all of a sudden you've just got more room to work between documents, editing things, perhaps using a bit of chat TTP here to quickly reshape tasks, rewrite things. That's enough room. Another way they show on the promotional materials with this is they show it you're being used to turn to face another person. So they have a parent who's cooking and they're looking at a recipe on this side and they turn this screen to face the kid who's maybe playing on this side here so they can show a video to them whilst they're cooking. I can see that as a use case, but whether you end up doing that in practice is another thing. They also show it vertically standing up and being used as a display screen for a phone. So let's try that one out. I mean, that's pretty nice actually. 
And even if it doesn't fit so well on your laptop, then this would work quite well as well. However, in this case, it needs to be powered separately. My phone is currently powering this screen as well as sending it as video signal. So it is very low power and it can stand up in this mode as well. Right, so where are my DeX notifications in Samsung? So now this is a trackpad and I really like DeX and you can Bluetooth a keyboard and mouse in as well if you would like to. So that's pretty impressive that it can be powered by a single phone. It did say it had a gravity sensor though, but I just think maybe the DeX isn't smart enough to rotate. I can't see an option to go for vertical mode, although I'm sure you could do screen mirroring in that vertical mode in any case. I wonder if it works well with my own laptop as a vertical screen. So you can use it in this vertical mode. You can use it freestanding with this attachment, just propping it up. There you are. So I could really see this actually. For someone who codes, you'll probably like a vertical screen orientation. Nice. I mean, you could also see it being used in a meeting, perhaps to turn to face someone else. You're presenting what you're presenting to them. It does fit on this laptop. It's just not as secure as it was on the Lenovo because of this hinge. They also have sent it with a nice little bag, which is, I think, a pretty standard screen cover bag, which I think I've got one of these before. Yes, I have had one of these. Packaged in a another portable laptop screen that I bought a long time ago. So you could see it as being something that you could turn around to face someone else to display some content, maybe duplicate the things to someone else in a meeting. Perhaps meeting rooms that you have are already equipped with display screens, larger ones at the front, and this isn't so necessary. I could see it though in the center of a boardroom meeting, perhaps with a 360 camera in the middle of a little island, maybe with a triple display. And therefore you could see the screen of the laptop from all sides and you could avoid that weird kind of split view where everyone is talking whilst looking at a screen and never at a camera. So thanks once again to OIWAC. This is the OIWAC M14 and I'd say it lives up to expectations. It does what it says it does on the marketing materials. There'll be links in the description for you to check that out at Amazon. It's very light.